PC Moulding and Automation was formed 12 years ago by uh, Peter Crossley, mainly because of the opportunities we saw for integration of six-axis robots with injection moulding machines. PC Moulding and Automation uh, were approached by Olympus basically because we were an existing customer. We've had a relationship for, for 25 years. And in the last seven to eight years, we've been carrying out the servicing repairs of the injection molding facilities here in Plymouth. So naturally, they approached us because they were aware of our automation capabilities, and that's where we are today. We were given a very challenging target to produce these parts. It was very heavily focused on people having to manually do the work um, and also we were getting more work where we needed to take these operators to different areas of the business. So looking at automation, it meant that we became very cost effective and we could utilise the operators from uh, this task into other areas of the business where they were required. The plastics industry is in a great period of change, so there are more and more applications where um, higher accuracy is required or uh, a greater speed from removing the plastics from the mould machine. So there's a, uh, an increasing need to use robotics in those kind of applications. What was required for this application was a great deal of reach, so traditionally you might have used a longer reach robot mounted on the floor. What we've done working with PC Moulding in this, in this instance is we've mounted the KR10 R1100 Agilus robot on a pedestal to give it the reach to get to the back of the picking zone and that means that we can use effectively a smaller robot than we would have done otherwise. That means it's more cost effective and more efficient for them to install. Well we can start from the demold robot takeout. There we have an end of arm tool which is specially designed to, to pick the parts from the mold and place them into a, a step conveyor which then takes it into the next part of the, the automation which is the laser marking. So the actual laser marking itself is from a company called Videojet, but we have to, of course, use our expertise to integrate that into our system. We also have a vision system within the automation, which we have to integrate as well. So not only do we have the robotics for the demold and also the KUKA robotics for the pick and place at the, in the automation cell, we have laser and vision systems also. We know that we had to use a certain size of injection molding machine, but what we also knew that we had to demold the parts and we had to put them in a, an exact position to allow us to uh, laser the parts together. So they're, they're actually they're six impression molds. So we had to make sure that we could laser six parts within 40 seconds in order to meet the production demands. In that case, we have to manipulate those parts in the design in order to achieve that. On one cell, that means that we have to spin three mouldings through 180 degrees to orientate them in the correct way in order for the laser and the vision systems to work. And the other cell is a small manipulation in order to, again, get it in the field of view for the laser and the vision systems. We provide CAD simulations to PC Moulding to help them put together the right robot. And also in this instance, we managed to get the robot um, in the, the RAL shade of blue, which works well for this particular application and this company to fit in with their corporate scheme. Most of it was bespoke to this system. So we had to design a particular system around that product, which incorporated about six different types of equipment. We've achieved cost savings. We've managed to um, secure other work by moving operators into different areas of the business. Uh, and, and also there was a, a saving in the material usage that was being used before, because um, before the automation, uh, the mold tools were made uh, from cold runner systems, which was obviously producing waste, which we now don't produce. You know, we're, we're in the business of automation, but just in the last year and a half, we've seen a very, very high demand in, in, in actual inquiries, which shows to me in the next year or two, we should be looking at an extremely high level of uh, automation being introduced into factories that have not tried automation before because they realise the, the efficiency and the, the accuracy benefits of, of, of the automation. In general, our opinion of robotics and automation is it, it's the way to go for manufacturing for the future. It gives us a, a better degree of control over the process and also we can't just keep adding headcount more and more. You know, we need to look at other ways to be competitive and automation is a great way of being competitive. 
The relationship between KUKA and PC is progressing very, very well. We're increasing the amount of inquiries that we send to PC Moulding and with their recent expansion to their new site in Wakefield, they've got more facilities, they've got more space to do bigger projects. So I only see the relationship going from strength to strength. Industrial Intelligence.